and over the show, and they're just BSing it up there. Uh, but I want to say what's up to uh, give it to you, Vapors, Big Supplies, Dead Religion, um, uh, Bat Chats, Desert Storms, TLP Weasel's up in there. Go give TLP Weasel a big giant shout out. Give him some WNF love. Jingles is cool, of course. That man is religiously on every time. So, see here on Steps. We've been seeing the emergence of the crown dog and not, but I mean, Murphy, what's your call on this? I think the reload kills the crown wagon. Well, the gun kills it. Yeah, but it is nice to have a very mobile heavy tank with impenetrable turret armor on your team. It's a it's a pain to push into a crown wagon when it's just sitting there, knowing it isn't odd loading. If you go side on, you're gonna take a bunch of damage. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out, because I do love Steps as a competitive map, personally. Yeah, steps it's, it's definitely just well a fun, map. It's a fun map in pubs and um, just and comp, just because so much can go down. And uh, I've seen some amazing carries by some people in a pub match, just because of the versatility of some of the tanks you can bring out. Yes, sir. All right, so uh, we'll go down the tanks listings here really fast. Hey, Happy, if you would go down 12 Panzer, and Murphy, would you do me the honor of going down I for an IX? All right, we've got an Object 140 coming out, a bat and a TVP to follow it. Two duo of IS-7s, a crown wagon, and a chieftain rolling up for I for an IX. And is Happy Gilmore still there? It's her deck. Guess not, so I'll, I'll roll down here really fast. So what? 12 pants. Oh, no, okay. I'm here. You want to roll was... through 12 pants? Yeah. Um, there's a pair of Batchats, pair of I-7s, and triplet of Chieftains. Alrighty. Happy Gilmore was watching the, watching the stream. there. Watching the stream. <laughs> I was eating a very crunchy piece of jerky, so I had myself mute it. Well, oh, thank you very, very much. Very, very nice of you. Yet again, if you want, once you're, uh, you you would like to have their some off stream matches going on, so people don't see all of your strats and stuff like that. Go check it out on uh, the tonight's off stream matches. Get those set up. Get those points going. Um, so you be super. Uh, you you keep the points rolling in because I mean we do. Unfortunately, it's one of these things with the nature of the beast. We can only show so many teams at one time. But with the magic of all the, the of the moderators and marshals of Wednesday night fights, um, you can still collect those points even if you did not make it onto the show. Uh, speaking of that, the ranks yet again, as I said, will be coming out later on this evening. Um, as soon as we get done with the meltdown. A lot of shuffling, and I had to expand the silver division. So uh, we're, we're looking at a lot bigger scenario where the gold teams are the, are the bar. The silver division teams are the, almost the homestead anymore. <laughs> These guys... Uh, put in a lot of work and a lot of love into competition. I mean, don't get me wrong, the gold and bronze divisions do the same, but it seems like the silver division's getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And it seems like a lot of good people are starting to recruit uh, a lot of the guys that are in the silver division yeah, now that they're, they're getting the some vision, uh, vision, some, some uh, stream time on them. Stream time on them. I have noticed that a lot of uh, names that you see on uh, these silver teams that you know definitely religiously play on on are all of a sudden when a gold team pops up, their names are right there up with them. So it's 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 great to see. Yeah, it, it's seen that community. type of the community growing and the gold teams. Uh, I mean. It, most everybody strives to grab that gold status, but 
like I've always said, the, the, the large teams like the Immortals and everybody. Maximilian, thank you for the following. Um, they, they, they stick around. Um, the, the rosters just get changed up, but they're not going to go anywhere. I have noticed on I've, this, uh, this map here um, that, you know, because of people like Murphy that have, I don't know how many, what, you, uh, you know, I don't even know how many purchases. Oh, here it comes. Omega's wondering. Yeah, I'm very yeah, curious I on mean, why for an eye I, sitting in the back. Well, the reason is, is uh, because of people like you and your bat chats that can sit in the middle of the field. I mean, because Hells and I <laughs> saw that one match where you sat in the middle of this field and nobody spawned you and you spawned the whole team up. Every team is going on the other side of these railroad tracks to avoid that spawn. No, yeah. That, I, that, personally, if I, I mean, see a, if I see a good bat chat crew, or I know the player has a good crew I'd go on the other side but I'm very curious why they're they gave 12 pens or the complete control of the cap side yeah but yeah they haven't gone over the railroad tracks so that's the question but yeah I mean if you don't mind me asking how many perks do you have in your bat chat 16 that's what I thought you have the uber just it just because hells and I were just astonished that one game we saw you just in the middle of the field and nobody saw you and you spotted the whole team up <laughs> um it looks like all right uh 12 panthers just gonna cast us out yeah interesting role was they waiting on their mediums to catch up i mean this is a lot of pressure to put on yourself 30 30 some seconds to get that's what I was worried about, because you you're, you're going to start rushing your moves, and it's going to bite you. Yeah, and you start rushing yeah, your so shots, and it bounces off the IS-7. And yeah, you're very correct. I things. mean, and then, I mean, at this time, 12 Panzer only has, the, the, well, now four on the base. So now you're, you're pressuring yourselves to get which tanks, and this is what we were worried about here, three, two, one, and they're going to look oh, at Vapors. Oh. And that's and it. And it's done. Yep, it's there's the game. That's I mean, why I never, I always like to push up into that bowl so I can keep eyes if they go for that cap. I yeah. never like to sit uh, in the back. Bull Panzer is very adept at doing that. Is They're smart. They'll throw three in there, but then they also put the wall up, two on one side, two on the other. So if somebody does push, you know, to try to get that cap pressure off, it, they'll leave themselves wide open. And Panzer saw it and took advantage of it and played it very well. The game, Panzer. The damage ain't going to be too big here, so uh, with the cap out, uh, we're just going to continue on. Quick, fast cap out. I think I for and I were thinking that they were playing someone else that they that they'll go for nothing but kills, but. Um, 12 Panther is one of those teams that be like, if you're going to hand us a game, we'll take it. Yeah, 12 Panther a win's a win. is... 12 Panther is probably one of the most seasoned teams on stream and playing. Um, I would put them up there as probably having some of the most played games within all three format, all three days of, uh, Wednesday night fights. I mean, yeah, 12 Panzer has like definitely been around, around a lot. And, I mean, if for time played versus time, uh, time uh, you know, time that, that's been occurred. So, I mean, the, it's all an essence of who did what. I mean, the Immortals have been around since they, I think, won uh, after, once everything started going. And so, the, of course, that's where they got their knowledge. And then... I mean, so yeah, I mean, days days played in this game, 12 Panzer's been around a long, long time, along with 360, which is now 36 Panzer, but I mean, I mean. Well, I'm not talking games, or time played, I'm saying um, as in just playing on stream within WN or Wednesday Night Fights, because I think they probably have the most on stream time of most teams. Hmm, that's a good question. For a while back, a while back, I mean, they were they were on twice a week. 
if not sometimes when they teamed up with 36 Panzer they were on twice a night what is the second map in this one may I ask uh, it is airfield war airfield war don't see that often no I know we used to play it a lot in this it was one of the main maps in one of the WCLs uh, uh, when w the first war uh, came out. WCL 2 okay. I know I put lots of practice time in on the war variant we're going to see Ravage Capital tonight uh, next match is coming up S SKB yeah. versus VGA we're going to have uh, some Ravage Capital uh, requested by SKB, and then VGA is going to be uh, selecting Muravanka. That's a map that's been popping up quite a lot, is Muravanka. Yes. It is nice to see how the maps just constantly change. Like, one team wants to practice this, and then it just becomes the new meta map. Everyone wants to play that map. I, I like... Uh... I know Chiefs pick Berlin a lot. I like I like the Berlin map too. So SKB and has only is... played it once, and that was on stream. I on think against the ODB. And you guys came out and was like kicking people on the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, SK, got, you said yeah, <laughs> go ahead. Sorry, you were saying SKB is picked what map? Ravage Capital, and VGA picked Murrow. I put it back into the meltdown uh, meltdown room, so if you, if you want to cross reference. Alrighty. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. Coming out for I for an IX. Coming out with a 140. Bat chat. Yoda. Their IS sevens. Groundwagen. And the chieftain. Mega. You want to roll down 12 pans. Yeah, 12 pans is running a duo of bat chats, two I sevens, and three chieftains. Alrighty. Remember to keep up with all of the action coming out with Clan Wars. A lot of teams got eliminated. A lot of teams still in. Um, I I know Murphy. You were one of the teams. Uh, you you guys and Panda were one of the teams that was not expected to get knocked out uh, this early. Yeah, I, I'm a new caller myself. I believe I mentioned my first join, so. Big, big first thing to come out to is Cloud more than, yeah, it definitely was a. I don't know. I, who did you guys my face? Brightest moment. NFTG, the first one. Then we played Wilk, Fame, and Faust. Or Faust. I'm sorry, I'm butchering that name, but. Faust. Yeah, it's okay. Well, you... Three good teams coming out against in the first round, especially Fame. Fame actually played one of their oh. best maps on Proc, and too many bounces at the end cost us it. You can never yeah. mess around with fame. I mean, I've been so... Fame has been kind of, eh, we don't care about the ranks. Um, I really wish that they definitely uh, would because they are a solid goal. Yeah, and then I'm in parties with some silver teams, like just playing pubs or something. So they say, oh, fame's in a silver team, what are they? Like, they oblivious to fame. Like, you uh, don't underestimate them. They've no. killed many gold teams. They beat. They stomped the floor with us pretty much. We kept pace by killing a few tanks, but lost our trades and all that. Unfortunately. Yeah, I've been hearing from a lot of top, top players, top teams that they say Fame is, if not the best team in the European division right now, if not one of the top. I would clans. agree with that myself. They are the best. If not one of the top clans in the, in the world, up there. They can they can hold their own with anybody right now. Was... They've definitely got a strong lineup, that's for sure. I mean, that, uh, ultimately, I would love to stream it. Fame versus the Immortals, um, the two of the teams that are just uh, that lead the forefront in the best of the best. So, back to the matches here. So, I for an eye is not gonna. They're not gonna hide behind a hill. Uh, hide behind uh, a hill. They're actually going to get up into the fight this time, knowing the 12 pans. They're like, we'll cap it out. We don't care. Um, 
I'm not sure if I like him running the 140 though, an eye for an eye. Not being able to keep up with the other two mediums might leave him exposed. Well, that's always the question. Yeah. You go for the burst ability or sustained fire. There's a good shot into Donk. I do like to keep the burst because you can just send the heavies in, take all the hits, send the bats in, do 6k damage with the bats and get out of there. And by the time the bats yeah. are done, the, all the tanks are either killed or too weak to push on the heavies and you just wait 30 seconds and go finish them off. I'm not too sure. Um, eye for an eye here. There are three mediums that are sitting right there in the D3. Uh, Wisp just got spotted up, so... Yeah, they're really playing Panzer, ultra passive here. I mean, this is... I think Oh Panzer is going to push? Mm, I think they're going to wait another, for time. Right? They're, I think they're going to wait. They're going to see what... And they definitely don't have the strongest push ability with three chieftains. They're just going to yeah. get ripped up when they start pushing in. Yeah, they need exactly. to play a little more defensive with yeah. the chieftains. Yeah, I mean, do oh, it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They had the three chieftains on their lineup. Yep, they, they got to use their batch hats. I think more as a bait and pull in scenario and then use the sustainability mm -hmm. DPM coming out of the chieftains uh, with the hold down ability. So. Very true. Yeah, they don't have the armor. The only true armor Really, the only thing I can see the 12 patterns are doing is sending the IS-7 and the bats out of their heavies and just having the chieftains fend for themselves against the mediums. Yeah. Vapors over here is just baiting shots, shot after shot after shot, just bouncing them. Well, then you look at I for an IX. I mean, they're not really set up either for a, a aggressive with their heavies. Um, I mean, uh, yes, two IS-7s, but then Kronvagen and the Chieftain Kronvagen dumps out, you know, 1,600 damage average, and then it's gone for a good chunk of the match with that, that with that reload it's got. I think it's a 30-second reload on the Kronvagen. It's up there. Uh, it That's the thing with having... Picture. Vehicles like the Chieftain and the Kranwagen on maps like this where you need to push a relatively open field mm -hmm. where both teams are hull down is you sure the outloaders and the Chieftain with the high DPM they're gonna punish a push but they can't push themselves. I do like uh, what uh, 12 Panzers here is doing is they realize and they're just slowly melting away. Um, I know Beast has more than one time said that he chained up his his uh, ammo loadout on this map and definitely throwing in high explosives a little more just for these scenarios um, and due to the new rules of you know, most damage, if nobody kills, most damage wins, the health left. There's a couple good hits going, uh, HK going in. Some shots. Yeah. And it will right. be interesting to see what 12 Panzer does against these eye for an eye mediums coming in. Oh, they just rotated back. Eye for an eye just brought them yeah, back. Yeah, that TVP was not the eye. smartest move to go in there with four tanks on there. Yeah. Well, That's getting focus, focused out next. That out. Great focus fire by 12 Panzer. 12 Panzer way yes. ahead now. Three kills. Minute 13 left yeah, on the nice. clock. Eye for an eye kind of should have pushed at the same time. I'm not. Yeah, I for an eye stopped their heavies, which did kill them because they could have taken advantage of the bats being on reload, and they still are. But now it's too late to make a push. Yeah, yeah they had a, a possible overmatch three on two, but now the other, the rest of twelve Panzers joining back into the fray here. Now making it a seven to three overmatch, so. Just yeah, that's really one big reload, thing that every so. team needs to realize is when you have the overmatch, you need to take it quick, especially before their autoloaders get back in the game. Alrighty, 12 pants are taking both sides of this one. Both sides of this one. Just roll down the damage here real fast. Uh, 
over on the I for an ice side. Not a whole lot of going on, so we're just going to go over the ooh, cracked uh, a grand uh, twist coming out with the 1500. Reaper stole 1700 and Diddy coming out with a 13. Uh, and other than night and day over here on 12 Panzer side, of course, uh, Blind Archer coming in with two kills, 2831. Uh, Vapors coming to the Zaya 7, one kill with 3272. Uh, Shaq B coming in with his cheap in 2160. And then uh, Marine coming in with a 1917. Ninja with a 1800. Donk with the 1700, and then White Knight coming in with the 908. Few clean uh, runs by 12 Panzer. They're showing, you know, being very methodical, um, rotating when needed. Um, definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely deserve to be at the top of the silver. That played definitely the way that they played against the lineup of Eye for an Eye. Um, it was a good showing. Um, I don't know if it would have worked if, say, if they would have went against, say, like Panda, NFTG, um, NB, or something like that. A little bit of work needs to be done. Just a little bit of uh, a little bit of tweaking here. Um, yet again, a lot yes. of these teams yes. were going to be going on this format. Uh, going limitless here, so other than on the TD route, which will always have limits until the uh, until it's well, they're nerfed. So, which I would probably see that this is yet again the whole uh, the whole problem with a lot of this stuff is is going down tanks that we think that should be nerfed in the community. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, the only way that they could ever really do anything like this, and the, I think the next step in comp is gonna <laughs> it's gonna be interesting because it's a lot easier to do on on PC. And Murphy, I want to get your take on this. What do you think about having the guest accounts with every tank, with uh, with every and each each person that's on that tank, each crew has every crew uh, has every perk. Uh, do you think that would possibly ever come towards console? I don't think it will ever come towards console personally, but, but it, would, it would even out the differences between the tanks, like as you'd mentioned, I have a pretty good bat chat through along with certain members of my clan that I like running the bat, and when you have a 16 plus perk bat chat crew in the middle of a field against one that doesn't even have brothers in arms, it's pretty mm -hmm. obvious who's going to win the spotting contest. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's... Um, Which could change the entire game, because as soon as you get vision on one side, it opens up a push here, you need to fall back here. And it could stop pushes yes. or start pushes. Yeah, I mean, it, I, I, that was one thing we definitely, that I emphasized in peril and then uh, and everything, was get out there, play the games, just not to make the silver, but the, my biggest thing was get out there and get the perks on the crews. Um, because it could make because make or break a match. And you also, uh, you know, everybody has a tank that they play best in, and you, you know, again, that's another thing is, you know, the players on a comp team, they just pick two tanks or three tanks, one of each, um, you know, heavy, medium, Perfect uh, light, or, and just concentrate on those crews. And, you know, each team has a lineup because obviously, you know, Panda, we see when you need one type of of uh, tank out there, you have a certain one or two people to play that, you know, exceptionally well and, you know, probably have the better crews in it. Um, if, it if it did go to a, you know, more of comp like PC does where everybody has every perk, everything, it evens out the field then it definitely makes it down to even more um, team communication and individual skill when it comes to it. Um, you know, when we watched the Hells versus Beaver, um, you definitely noticed, you know, 
it was even, 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 and then in the end, when it's you know two on two, three on three, that's when the personal, the individual skill is definitely highlighted. Yeah, um, I definitely you know, agree with that. Group. Me participating in that myself, I can give you insight from Key Beaver. And all honesty, our focus fire wasn't the best, but when you have eight bats, you can't really focus much. So. But yeah. definitely, the early game is all about how the team does, and then late game, especially in the steps game where we had got caught out in two ways, comes down to personal skill like that. Whereas, I think Cruz called for Hell's Cat, he put him up there, and just, they were just able to hit their shots as our bat sort of got stuck. Yeah, nobody, uh, Pants definitely said that, uh, or whoever was calling for, um, for the hells or for the beaver side they did not expect hell's team to be up on that hill um and again it's all about individual skill of calling and knowing where the ambush spots were um and then again crew skills we just call out the tanks here really fast so omega and and uh, uh murphy if you both want to go down those and we continue this great discussion um, I'll go down eye for an eye. Eye for an eye is running an E4, a bat chat, a TBP 5051, two I7s, a TP27 heavy, and a 113, one from almost every country. So all Panzers is running a duo of I7s, a duo of 57 heavies, an E5, and two chieftains. I'm not sure if I like 12 Panzer running out with no mediums. Yeah, having no eyes is going to be kind of interesting because definitely if you're taking the flight to the East 6 area or, you know, East 6, 5, uh, having eyes on that the GH hill um, is kind of vital. vital. Oh, it's definitely. Yeah. But even if you have an extremely good bat chat crew, you could sit at B3, B4 right behind the rocks and the bushes. When they go to push around, you have that bat chat, bam, right out of the bush, just clipping you out for 2,000 on the side. Can't do anything about it because your medium that you don't have never spotted them. Oh, I'm on here uh, on the you know, World of Console website, and I think everybody's rumors of the 111.5a is going to come true because it looks like the new Chinese TDs are going to be coming out on February 13th. So... Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Um, I, I, from people I've talked to, that that Chinese TD is pretty much a more armored version of the 268. Yeah, it's a sluggish, you know. Actually, I like how they, they call the, the Chinese the Tier 10. It has FT in the end of it, so they call it the fake tank. <laughs> you see that on the PC a lot. Alrighty, so both teams here. One's going down the one line, nice. one's going down the zero uh, the zero line, and then you have in the middle the Skoda and the Bad Chat both against E5 and an IS7. Ooh, big shot taken by HK. Yeah, it was not the smartest move to go on that side and get lit up by the IS7 and E5. Especially knowing they're crossing that gap, they'll have shots. Medlop, thank oh, you for the follow. Is at least One he got them. off the hill and oh, Twist oh, taking twist. a thousand fall damage. I was just about to say HK took the nice safe route. Could have been disastrous coming off that hill. And as I was trying to get that out of my mouth, Twist does the opposite of what HK did. Now having that TVP one two shots for certain tanks is definitely a big trouble for i for an ix having one of the most important tanks on their team in autoloader low health early game the twist has used up both his repair kit and his first aid kit all he has left is a manual fire extinguisher and his gas tanks are, are damaged so i would like to see one of i for an ix mediums going down to the j3 behind them so if they do push down to the middle ridge they'll have shots on the rear of the heavies but it doesn't look like they're doing it they're looking like they're pushing down the middle mm. the speed of the is dark striking triple tapped 
quadruple tapped and he's down. Yeah, Vapor is just vaulted up. Wow. Uh, up and fire was and he's good. pushing in on... Now that's where I would have liked but, having that TVP behind him, because that E5 would have already yeah. taken four shots by now, crossing. Oh yeah, you're Vapor very, used the speed very, of the... Vapor used the speed of the IS-7 to vault up and get behind this 57 Heavy. HK, Another gun wham, going down. Yep, HK, wham bam, thank you ma'am, focus fire working. Uh, getting that bad chat. The focus fire from eye for an eye does not look very nice having all of both Panzer's Heavy is relatively half health, especially the I-7 with the one-shot. They're not hitting the correct targets. Nothing is more important than taking out the guns in these games. That severely reduces every team's DPM, taking out the gun. Diddy just got ammo racked. Vapors is about... Vapors and... Uh... I would like to see up. this TVP doing this a long time ago, getting the shots in the rear of the heavies. Unfortunately, he's on a reload right now, so he can't do anything. He just there took a go. big shot. There you go. Let's blind Archer on fire. This is what this needed to happen a long time ago, right here. And he just shoots the ground. Like here, 12 Panzer going to be making man. this an early, early victory. Um, wow. Great job for 12 Panzer. Yeah, Got you an eye for an eye out. 12 Panzer definitely looks strong here. and. On the other side, doesn't look like the normal eye for night team that we've seen in the past. Everybody has an off night. Ken, thank you for the following. So three and out. My pans are there. Great job. I'm joined by, of course, Omega. And Happy Gilmore. And, of course, the guard guest for coming in this evening, Mr. Murphy Mahler. Super happy to have everybody here, eye for an eye. Uh, everybody was, I mean, the damage is spread out, just not enough was done. The hated stoner coming in with 1,400. Twist, taking that fall damage, did manage to come back, at least do 1,440. HK with 800. Dark Stride, who got literally just melted by the focus fire, only 1,719. Reaper of Souls, coming out with a 1,500. Rain Man. Coming in for, we'll give him, we'll give him this, 2K. We'll Diddy coming out with 1,800, but over here on the 12 Panzer side, business as usual. White Knight, 1,815. Jack B, 1,500. Donk, 1,500. Marine coming over with a 1,200. Blind Archer, 1,300. Uh, but Ninja and also Vapors yeah. coming in with over the 3K mark and with the kill. So great job, 12 Panzer. Uh, making this a three and out scenario and... Yet again, we got a little more time. We got a little more. Time. Pull these guys in for some post-game interviews. It was a very dominant round last game on airfield by 12th Panzer, keeping all of their tanks alive at the end. It's very experienced move to switch tanks in and out, keeping all the guns alive to prevent a push.